Hi guys, welcome to ITTV. I am Mr. Wong, your English teacher. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about formal letters. Formal letters are letters we see every day. For example, imagine that the garbage collectors only came to collect garbage once or twice a month. Now, this would be a very, very big problem because number one, there would be so much garbage outside your house. And number two, imagine the smell. So what would you do? You would write a formal complaint letter to the authorities informing them about your problem. And perhaps in time, this problem would be solved. Now, a complaint letter might not be something that you would write every day. But very soon, you're going to finish secondary school. What will happen then? Many of you will start work straight away and many of you will then need to go to university. Now, for those of you who start work straight away, you will have to start thinking about getting a job. Now, the first thing we do when we get a job is we write a formal letter. What sort of formal letter? We write a formal letter asking about a job. For example, let's just say we saw an advertisement for a job that we found very interesting. We would take this advertisement and write to the company. You would have to write a formal letter. Now, have you ever heard the phrase, first impressions are very important? Now, this is very, very true. Imagine if you did not write a good letter, the company might read it and might just throw it away. So it's very important to know exactly how to write a good, proper, formal letter. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's take a look at what we'll be doing today. Now let's look at the question. You have just come across an advertisement in the morning paper. You are interested in applying for the job of a customer service officer. Based on the information given below, write a formal letter to the general manager. In your letter, give your personal details, qualifications, and any other relevant details that will support your application. So what are we doing today? We are writing a formal letter now, what sort of formal letter? We are writing a letter to apply for a job. So let's look at that advertisement. Pasha, we are a well-established multinational company and the world's leading manufacturer in cleaning equipment. We are seeking a suitable candidate to fill the position of customer service officer. Just by looking at this first slide, we already have a lot of information. We know the name of the company, we know what they do, and very important, we know the job that is available. Let's read the rest of the advertisement. Requirements. Must be computer literate, and knowledge of SAP is an added advantage. Proficient in spoken English, Bahasa Malaysia and Chinese dialects. Pleasant personality with good interpersonal skills and customer oriented. Minimum SPM and one to two years working experience. Now, before we move on, let's go back to the requirements. First, must be computer literate. Now, that's fine. And knowledge of SAP is an added advantage. Now, do any of you know what is SAP? Now, if you do, well done. SAP is a data processing system. Now, many companies use this. So, what happens if I don't know what SAP is? Now, the first thing you should do is you look it up. It's very easy nowadays with the internet find out what SAP is. But it's very important to be honest. Don't pretend that you know about something that you don't. Now, this might be in the requirements, but it also states that it is an added advantage. It is not something that you must have. Now, let's go back to the rest of it. Now that we've looked at the requirements, 
let's see what the position focuses on. The position focuses on coordinating repairs and related service issues, spare parts management, and provide customer service support. If you possess what we are looking for, please send your resume, current and expected salary together with a passport size photo to the following address. General Manager, Pasha Cleaning Sindran Burhad, 11 and 13, Jalan TPK 3, Stroke 8, Section 2, Taman Perindustrian, Kinrara, 47100, Puchung, Selangor. Fax number 03807337790. Now we've just gone through an advertisement. So this advertisement was for a job vacancy. Now, when you are looking at a job vacancy, it's important to look at a lot of different things. But now, since we are focusing on a formal letter, we're going to look at things that we will need while writing a formal letter. First, general manager. So this is who we're going to be writing to. Now this is the person we will be addressing. So, dear sir, madam, so we're writing to this person. Application for the post of customer service officer. So this is your topic. This is what we are writing about. We are applying for this job. So this is something that is very important to note. Next, we have yours truly. Now remember, you're writing a formal letter. So when you end your formal letter, you say yours truly. Don't write things like, hope to hear from you soon. No, you write things like yours truly or yours faithfully. So these are some examples of how you can end. So these are some notes that you have to prepare before you start writing. So the first thing is, who are you writing to? The next thing is, what is the topic? And end properly. Now what we're gonna do now is we're going to look at a formal letter. Now, as we look at this formal letter, we're gonna talk a little bit about the format, and we're gonna talk about how you can add to this formal letter to make it very, very bountiful, very rich, and of course, following the right format. So first of all, 30, Jalan Batu Berendam, Taman Bunga Mawar, 35809 Galana Jaya. So this is the sender's address. So the sender's address is on the left hand side, right on the top. So the format, very important to remember. Let's move on. We have a line. Again, this is part of format. So you must have a line after you have written your address. Next. General Manager, Pasha Cleaning Sindrian Berhad, and then we have the address. So here, the first thing you need to write is, who are you writing to? The General Manager. Then you have the company's name, and then the address. Let's look at this again. Now we have Selango. Selango is underlined, and if you look closely, you will see that the date is in line. So when you write the date, the end of your address, it is in line on the right hand side. Again, this is all format. So let's go back to the top so that we can recap all of this. 30, Jalan Batu Berendam, Taman Bunga Mawa, 35809 Kelana Jaya. Remember the line. And then we continue writing, General Manager, Pasha Cleaning Sindran Berhad, then you have the address. Now, remember, you write the person who this letter is addressed to, then the company, then the address. Right at the end, you underline and you make sure that your date is in line with the end of that address. So let's move on. Dear Sir slash Madam. Now, the general manager can be male. The general manager can also be female. We don't know. So, dear sir slash madam, that's fine.
comma, application for the post of customer service officer. Now, this is your topic. So this is very important. What are you applying for? The whole purpose of this letter is to apply for this position. Once you are done, you underline. This is format, you need to follow it. I refer to the above matter. Now this is your introduction. In a formal letter, once you have the topic, you will just refer to it. That is how you write your introduction. Now this is very different compared to when you write an informal letter. How are you? I hope you are well. I hope your family is well. None of this is important. You go straight to the point. So this is the format when you write a formal letter. You have the topic, you underline it. And then your introduction, I refer to the above matter, and that is it. It is as simple as that. Now, always remember this because when you forget these small things, you lose marks. Now, format carries marks. Now, we go into the next paragraph. I would like to apply for the post of customer service officer as advertised in the morning paper on the 28th May 2010. My name is Li Bo Guan and I am a 23 years old Chinese male. I grew up in Setiawan, Berak, as an orphan who lived with my uncle and aunt. So here, in your second paragraph, you have personal details. You are telling your potential employer about yourself. So this is a very good way to begin. So we've talked about the introduction already. We know what we're writing about. So the topic is settled. So now you are telling about yourself. Okay, so your personal details. Third paragraph. I received my education in SRK Methodist ACS and SMK Hutan Melintang. I have scored nine A's in my SPM examination and I have furthered my studies in University Putra, Malaysia. I majored in business and marketing with a CGPA of 3.87. Every semester, I topped the Dean's List. Now in the third paragraph, you are now showing them your qualifications. For those of you who do not know about university scores, 3.87 is very good. If you get four, it means you have done perfectly. So 3.87 means this person is a very good student. So you're telling your employer about your qualification. Now let's move on. Now let's look at paragraph four. In my secondary school days, I was active in sports. I had participated in football matches and even represented the Manjung district as a goalkeeper. Apart from that, I had represented my school in the district debate competition as well as being the Yellow House captain for two consecutive years. During the semester breaks, I worked at an electrical store which belonged to my uncle's friend. It was during these breaks that I had learned to repair many electrical items including vacuum cleaner. Now, when you write a letter, it is good to add things that are relevant. Now, when you look at this, this is actually very, very relevant. So on one hand, we already know from the education aspect that this person is a very good student. But on the other hand, he's also a very good sportsman. He represented his school. So now I know more about him. Not only is he good at studies, he's also good at sports. Now, what sort of company are we applying to? We are applying to a cleaning company. And here you have an applicant who knows how to repair vacuum cleaners. Now, is this a relevant skill? Yes, I think it is. Because when we are talking about customer service, it is always good to know about the products. So here, he's showing them his relevant skills. So these are ways you can add relevance to your letter. Now let's move on. Paragraph 5. I am proficient in spoken English, Bahasa Malaysia and several Chinese dialects like Hokkien, 
Cantonese, and Mandarin. I am able to operate Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but I do not possess any knowledge of SAP. I believe I have a pleasant personality as I have a wide variety of friends. Now here's a note. Co-curricular activities or any other activities that can support your application. So you can add these into it. Now, let's look at this. He tells about all of the different things that he's able to do. Now, one very good thing is he talks about Microsoft Excel PowerPoint. So we know that he knows how to handle a computer. He's also very honest. I don't know what is SAP which is fine because it is not something that you must have. It is an added bonus if you do have it. So again, he's showing that he is qualified to do the job and he's also very honest. He doesn't pretend to know what he does not. Now let's move on. Paragraph six. And close with this letter are photostatted copies of my academic and co-curricular certificates. I'm available for interview at your convenience. So he has also added certificates that shows all of the different things that he has done besides his education. And he's available for interview at their convenience. So this is a very well-written letter. Now let's look at how he ends. He ends with, thank you, yours truly, Lo Bo Guan. Now, in an informal letter, you just leave it like this. But in a formal letter, it's important to write your name properly underneath. So it means printed. So here we have it, Lo Bo Guan. And here it's in capital letters, so it's nice and clear. So with that, we have finished writing a formal letter. So let's review. The first thing we did is, we identified that it was a formal letter because we were writing to a company applying for a job. Now, how do we begin? The first thing we need to do is we need to remember the format. Now, in an informal letter, you start on the right. In a formal letter, you start on the left. So let's take a look at that again. So we begin on the left, sender's address. What comes next? Well done, the line. Now this line is format, remember, no line, you lose points. General manager, Pasha Cleaning Sindrian Berhad, and then we have the address. So we begin by, who are we writing to? The general manager, and then the company's name, and then the address. So right at the bottom, always remember, a line, and then we have the date on the right hand side, and it must be in line with your last line of your address. So let's take a look at that. So here we have Selango, it's underlined, and it's in line with 2nd June 2010. We then move on. Dear Sir Madam, we don't know whether it's male or female, so we just say Dear Sir Madam, and we straight away go into our topic. So what is our topic? Application for the post of Customer Service Officer, underlined. So here we have our topic, which is underlined. So straight away we know this is an application for this post, finished. Now we have our introduction. I refer to the above matter. That's it. The introduction is done. So you just go back to your topic. I refer to the above matter and your introduction is set. We then move on to the next paragraph. I would like to apply your personal details. So you begin like that. Third paragraph, your qualifications. So you tell them about your qualifications. Fourth paragraph, he speaks about football, being a goalkeeper. He also talks about being in the debate competitions. Then we have the electrical store where he used to work and he learned how to fix vacuum cleaners. So here we have relevant experience. So this adds on to it. So you have another paragraph and you're telling them about other things that you have done that is relevant. So let's move on. Fifth paragraph, 
proficient in English, Bahasa Malaysia, and several Chinese dialects. So now he moves into the languages. And after the languages, he then talks about other requirements like being able to use a computer well. So he then talks about Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Now, in the requirements, SAP, which is a data processing system, was an added bonus, which means that if you have this, there's a better chance of you getting the job. Now, he does not have this knowledge. So what he does is he straight away puts it out on the table and he says, well, I don't know how to do this. However, you know, I have all of this other qualification. Now, let's look at the tip again. Co-curricular activities or any other activities that can support your application. Now here you must remember when you write a letter applying for a job, it is good to show them all the things that you can do. So you are adding value to yourself. And finally in paragraph 6, and close with this letter are photostated copies of my academic and co-curricular certificates and I am available for your interview at your convenience. So here, we tell them that we have also included other documents for them to look through, and we tell them that we are ready for the interview anytime. We end with thank you, and of course, yours truly. You sign off, but remember, your name must be printed properly. And with that, we have finished writing a formal letter. Now very soon, you will be writing your first job application letter. So it's good to practice now. Now, always remember that the format is important. And if you can remember the format, you're not going to have many problems. So that's all the time we have for today. Till I see you next time. Bye-bye.